And today I'm doing another quick, short, sharp workout for you to fit into your day. And it, it's flexible because you can extend it as much as you like. You can do it several times if you want to make it harder. But if you just want to do five minutes, quick, short, sharp working of exercising, then this is the perfect workout for you. But you are going to need our favourite brooms. That's it. So if you want to grab your broom or your crutches or your sticks, whatever you might use instead of a broom, then go grab them now. Um, so just to remind you guys that this is a short, sharp workout. So that means there is no warm up and there's no cool down. I do expect you to maybe do two minutes either side on your own, just to make sure your arms are nice and warmed up before you get started as I don't want any of you to be injured. I've already done mine, I'm ready to go. Um, so hopefully you can do the same and then you can start this workout with me. So today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing five different broom exercises. And for each exercise we are gonna work for a minute on and have 30 seconds resting. Hence, five minutes, because each exercise takes a minute. Um, so that is, nice and simple really we're going to do five different broom exercises for a minute each and then you can repeat it as many times as you like if you want to make it harder or if you're just happy with the five minutes then great that's a really good start as well so for the first exercise we are going to be doing our broom w so you're going to have your broom above your head you're going to bring it down behind your head so it's in a w position and extend back up if, it, if you struggle to get it back behind your head because i know that's quite tricky for some people then what you're going to do is you're going to bring it down in front of you and then extend back up each time though, you're gonna try and squeeze your shoulder blades together at the back as well, just to make sure you're really working those back muscles. Are you ready? Oh, starting my timer. Are you ready? We're gonna go in three, two, one, and off you go. We're gonna go for a minute, remember? Up, down, up, down. Relax those shoulders, relax those arms, nice. Really good. And you're halfway. So well done. Keep it going. Oh, it's tricky this one. I find it really hard, especially for a minute. Really good job, keep those arms going. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep going. Up, down, three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Wow, that was more tiring than I expected. <laughs> really good job, well done, have a quick rest. And then we're gonna go on to our broom in and out, which we have done quite a lot, so hopefully you remember these. So you're gonna start off with your broom at your chest height, you're gonna push it out in front, bring it back to your chest, push it up to the sky, bring it out and up. Each time coming back to your chest. We're gonna go for another minute, are you ready? Three, two, one, off you go. The faster you do this one as well, the harder it will be. So it'll really get your heart rate up. Maybe. Out, then up. Out, then up. Good job. Nice work. You're doing so so well. Halfway through, you've done 30 seconds. Really good. Keep it going. Up, and then out. Ten seconds to go. Final push on this one. Really good. Three, two, one, and rest your arms there. Cough. Oh, I forgot how tiring that one is. It's really good. <laughs> Woo! And we're gonna get ready to go on to our the third exercise. Sorry, you just need to exercise number three. And this is broom swing. But what we're going to do is we're going to switch halfway through. So we're going to swing. No, sorry, we're not doing broom swings because 
I remember I'm not doing several sets, so we're not gonna do that one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do broom raises. So you can have your broom at the end of your knees and you're just gonna raise those arms up and come back down. Raise them all up and back down. Believe it or not, I did turn them so I just bed the other exercise I didn't normally do. Um, so yeah, you can have your broom at the end of your legs, raise it up and back down with as straight arms as possible. You might have a slight bend in them to help you balance, um, but you can keep those arms up and then back down. Does that make sense? And we're gonna go for a minute. And this is all about hopefully working that core, engaging that core to see how nice and stable you can stay. And are you ready? We're gonna go three, two, one, off you go, up and down. Down. Up. Oh my goodness, this really does like my core. <laughs> really good. Reach up and down. You've got 30 seconds left, you're halfway through. Smashing it, guys, well done. Try and keep those arms as straight as you can, up and down. Really stretching those arms through. Well done, really good. Use the broom to help you balance. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Your body there, well done, really good job. You have got, ooh, what have I done? Oh, good. Um, you've got 30 seconds rest, just under, and then we're going to go into our broom twist. And this is focusing on your core as much as possible. So all you're going to do is you're going to twist around from side to side for a minute. Try and control it. Are you ready? This is your fourth exercise. Three, two, one. Off you go. Right, in there. Really good. I love all these broom exercises. You don't really realise how much they work you until you do them. Especially for a bit of endurance of a minute. It's tricky. Well done, right to left. Right to left. 30 seconds gone, halfway. Well done. Really good. Keep it going. Nice. Ten seconds left. Final push on this one. Three, two, one, and rest your body there. Well done, really good job. For 30 seconds rest, and then we're gonna go on to our fifth and final exercise. And this time we're going to pretend we're in a boat and we're going to paddle. You guessed it. You can't, I can't do a broom workout without paddling. I love it. And so that will be one set after this one, guys. And if you want to repeat it over and over again, please do. I'll leave it up to you. Are you ready? Three, two, one. And off you go. Paddle for a minute. Just keep paddling. If you can go faster than me, go for it. Don't let me slow you down. I'll try and catch up with you. Really good job, keep going. Keep that rhythm. Well done guys, you're smashing it. You've got 30 seconds left. Final push on this, keep going, really good. You're over halfway. Nice work, just keep paddling. And you have 10 seconds left. This is your final push, keep up that rhythm. Really good. Three, two, one, and we did it. Well done, really, really good job. That's all five exercises complete now, guys. You've done a minute on each. Hopefully you do remember them. So uh, the first one we had was our broom Ws. 
Uh, and then we went on to our broom in and out. Up, in, out. Then we went on to our broom raises, up and down. Then we went on to our broom twists. And then finally you finish on your broom pedals. So hopefully you'll remember them. And if you want to repeat them over and over and do like three or four sets of them, please feel free and to make it a longer workout. But well done guys, that is my short, sharp broom workout complete. Make sure you finish with a cool down, do some stretching just to finish off and make sure you warm up at the beginning too. It's also a really fun one to do with the family if you want to do it with, with someone as well. But well done guys, really good job. I'll be back again next week with another one of my Ellis Wheelchair workouts. See you then, stay safe and I'll see you next week.